So, Russell, here's a serious, serious question. Chris just did that. He just did that, Russell. That's really good. That's awesome. Excuse me just a minute. Hi guys, my name is Chris. It's so cool to actually uh, speak to you guys because I, I think it's been a few months that some of us have been connected through Instagram, social media, and everything. In this day and age of social media, what is it like interacting with fans even before the show has even aired? Kind of nuts but like kind of really cool at the same time. Yeah, I think it's it's really cool to just have so much energy and excitement and all this like hype kind of built up around these people that they haven't gotten to see on screen. They've only seen our social media profiles at most. Dedication of the fans is real. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the fans tagged me in a post the other day and I thought it was really cool how they said, this is really like one of the first times that they know the cast by our real names and not our character names. And I think that's like really humbling to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about it that way until I saw that one. But that was really cool. What were you guys doing when you found out you booked Power Rangers? Like where were you, who were you with and all that? I was at work. I had missed the call from my agent and on my half an hour break, called him back and he kind of tricked me into thinking that it was not successful after days of like waiting and hoping for the call. And then finally was like, you won't be able to do it because you'll be a Green Ranger. And it was very cool. And then I, and then I hung up and promptly um, quit my job to say no to Power Rangers. Oh, I was texting uh, my manager, Joby. I was like, have you heard anything yet? Like, do you know? And he was texting back and forth. He's like, I haven't heard anything yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. I should be finding out today. And I'm like, Oh my God. So I was just pacing the living room back and forth. And he calls me. He's like, I'm talking to the new Black Power Ranger, baby. And I just remember being so happy. And my sister and my mom burst out of the bedroom because they heard it on the phone. We all started screaming and jumping for joy. It was really cool. I didn't get a call first. I got the email, which is like, I think we all got like an official email saying congratulations from Power Rangers. I got that email before I got the call from my manager. And so I saw it and I was just like, I don't know if this is real <laughs> because usually you're supposed to get contacted by your representative. So I was like, what is this? And then shortly after they called me and confirmed it. So that was really good. I just laid on the floor. I was really My agent kind of did the same thing Tessa's did, but in a different way. He was just like, unfortunately, it looks like you're going to have to go to New Zealand and I mean, I was like pretty happy that I was with someone at that time because I think I just like kind of like fell to the ground. Just like, I don't know, my, my agent was telling me all this sorts of other things and I was just like, I kind of blacked out because it was it's real. <laughs> I was like, I don't even care. Like he was like, you're the new Pink Ranger. And I was just like, okay. And I just like didn't even realize I was still on the phone. <laughs> I was around family, which I'm really grateful for, but it wasn't under the best circumstances. We were actually setting up like, a virtual memorial service. We had just had a death in the family. So just like, hi, I got the email first. I got super hyped. I was just like, I was just so, so happy to just like have, have a moment that I could um, bring some celebration to everybody, you know? And, uh, and then I immediately got the call from my agent right after. And I was like, thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so happy, but I have to like, I have to be with my family right now, you know? So um, yeah, it was just like a really bittersweet really awesome moment so I'm, I'm never gonna forget that for sure hunter i've seen a couple of impressive stunt videos on your youtube channel so what was it like working with the stunt team of a big production like power rangers um that was honestly on the top of my i'm so excited for list out of this entire process um i just had trained before my boyfriend's a stunt performer and he had helped me train for this and everything and it was really cool to see the differences and the kinds of training as well but our stunt team has so much passion it's like kind of intense but like in the best way possible so it feels really cool to be taught under their wing um, they just do everything full force. They, I don't think I ever see them sitting down. I don't, I don't ever see them like doing anything besides practicing. And it's kind of cool to learn their work ethic and also learn their abilities to try to even remotely get close to their level. Chance, your character Javi is also a musician like you. What else about Javi can you relate to? And what do you feel makes you different from him as well? 
Um, I actually just thought of this. I actually wear a, le a lot of uh, leather jackets. <laughs> and one time, <laughs> Javi does that. I just put two and two together. But um, that's something that's similar. I don't know. We're both pretty, like, um, airheaded at times. But I like to think that I'm a little bit more, I mean, a little bit less than he is. Um, so I hope that's true. <laughs> Definitely. I agree. I'm just going to stop talking. Kai. What is it like representing the Asian community in a more phenomenal way like this? You're also part Filipino uh, like me. So have you been getting some love from the Filipino community as well? I have been. Yes, I have been. Um, and that's been really awesome. I think it's, it's really cool because I not only represent like one ethnicity, I represent multiple. So that's really cool. A lot of um, people to represent. Uh, the Filipinos, uh, Japanese, Chinese, and the Hawaiians. So that's a lot of people paying attention. So maybe a little pressure, but I'm really glad to represent them. Tessa, the Ranger community was so ecstatic to find out about you being the first female Green Ranger in Power Rangers history. What goes on in your mind when you think about that? Um, a lot. A lot goes on in my mind. <laughs> um... I mean, the biggest thing to say is that it's a it's a huge honor. I I didn't really realize the weight of it, if I'm honest, when I first was was given the role, um, and it became very quickly apparent how incredible it is that there's a female Green, green Ranger. I'm doing my best to you know do her justice, but I yeah, it's it's incredibly humbling, and I think that it's one of the many things that Power Rangers is doing to kind of keep the ball moving forward and keep things new and revolutionary and exciting and and um relatable to the audience that it's telling the story to so i'm i'm very thankful to be a part of that so russell here's a serious serious question we all know you're a clippers fan <laughs> what is it about the clippers that made you choose them as your favorite la team rather than oh, the la lakers oh. chris just did that he just did that, Russell. Where's your Clippers That's jacket? Really good. Where's your Clippers jacket? That's awesome. Excuse me, just a minute. <laughs> I can't oh, oh, Let's do it. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. That's on deck. Well, sir, with all due respect, yeah. with all due respect, I love that you did that, by the way. Oh my gosh, I was not ready. My family in all sports and pretty much everything in our way of life, we support the underdog. So, you know, when I was born, the Lakers had won all their championships. They won plenty more, whatever. But <laughs> the Clippers have still yet to win their first. And like to be there, hopefully, God willing, for their first championship as a fan from the very beginning, like I'm not, I didn't just jump on the bandwagon. Like I was going to games when the Clippers were not winning many, I'll put it nicely. To be able to be there for that first championship, like there's some ownership for that, that I had something to do with it. And like, we had something to do with it. So I'm a Clippers fan for life. That's never gonna change. I respect the Lakers. They're easily the greatest basketball dynasty of all time. But you know, let some other people have a chance, you know? <laughs> respect, respect, oh, respect. Oh, man. But in, in all seriousness, uh, Russell, you've been cast as the leader of the Power Rangers. Do you feel a sense of pressure to live up to the past Red Rangers that came before you? Does that affect the way you represent the character? Or do you go about it the way you usually tackle a new role? There were some worries in my head about, like, am I going to be able to be a leader? Am I, am I going to be able to live up to the past and stuff like that. But I think as time's gone on and as we've all begun to know each other better and support each other, like these guys are incredible and they have been so amazing. Like I voiced this to them really early on and they're like, nah, man, you're it. Like you're, you're gonna be our leader and you're doing a phenomenal job. And that was pretty much it, you know? From that moment on, I've had the confidence and the, um, just like the, the joy in being able to like carry this torch forward. And, you know, I'm, I know every day I'm doing my absolute best. I'm doing my best to make everybody who watches this show and who loves this show and, and everyone who's been on this show previously proud. So that's, a, that's where I'm at now. I just like to say that you're succeeding. On yeah, all I, saying, I think we, I can speak for the group when I say that we wouldn't want anyone else as our Red Ranger, so. It's, you're, you're not only 
a leader in your acting and as a role as a Red Ranger, but you are, we look up to you in our group. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I mean. They're amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys, for real. Because of the pandemic, this new cast was not announced at Power Morphicon like the, the previous teams. Did you have the chance to meet each other before shooting in New Zealand or was it the first time you met each other in person? What was it like when all five of you met in the flesh for the first time? Well, we met in the airport um, okay. for the flight to New Zealand. We all went through security check together and then our first mission was to find out what we were going to eat before the flight. <laughs> uh, we just wanted to have a dinner together before the flight. Yeah. Yeah. And then whilst eating, we, we did some Smash Bros. Um, and, then, and then we got on board. So that was, that was our meeting. <laughs> the day I found out about booking the role, I think my, let's just say third email back to them was, who else is, who else is a ranger? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I immediately, yes, I immediately like sent a thing and I was like, I want to get to know these people. We're going to be family. Let's start. And then uh, the next day we got a whole list and we all followed each other on Instagram and started a little group message. And we had talked before, but we hadn't officially met until the airport. I have a very different experience of meeting you all. You were all in stunt training and I walked in and they were all training among the Japanese stunt team. And I was like, right, okay. And then I was like, all right. I think, and Hunter was like, immediately and I was like all right so that's definitely pink ranger <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw the other three and I was like okay all right okay this is these are the new rangers like these are the people I'm gonna impress <laughs> and then and then they all ran up to me as soon as there was a break and they were all lovely and I was so overwhelmed they were wonderful and so it was a very different experience but it made my day a lot less scary as soon as I met them all what were you most excited about being a Power Ranger when you when you booked the, the role? Was it wearing the suit or being an action figure? Mine was the action figure. <laughs> I, remember, I remember we had a call um, with Simon Bennett and he was telling us, he's like, all right, guys, being a Power Ranger is a serious deal. You guys got to live up to all these expectations. And wow, that is so important. He's like, at the end, he's like, is there any questions? And I was like, do you know when we will be action figures? <laughs> I think that's one of the first <laughs> questions to ask Simon Bennett. I think it was action figures until I put the suit on. And mm. then I was like, hmm, action figures are dope, but this, this is really special. I hadn't even thought of action figures right away. I just wanted to get in the suit. <laughs> I just wanted to like be in a completely pink Power Ranger suit like because it was not only like that I was trying it on and that I get to wear it like that's me it sounds really weird but I don't think that it really became real until I saw myself in the suit and then suddenly I was like oh I I not only can I do this but I am doing this this is my life now like this is real this isn't a dream or like me hyping myself up to make myself feel better like this is I'm in a Power Rangers suit and it like really cemented how important the whole industry is to me. But also it was like, oh my goodness, I am powering it. <laughs> <laughs> the action figure mainly, because that's really cool. And, and so growing up, I, you know, I, I really liked toys and, you know, a bunch of things like that where I could just play pretend with that. So just knowing that I was going to have an action figure, I was like, I, that's awesome. I have to get a few and never open them. <laughs> <laughs> one to display and one to open. Yeah, like who knows? Maybe I'll give some away or maybe my kids will want to play with multiple at a time at one point in my life. And I'll be like, you want to know a cool story? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a little fun, fun question. Who fumbled with their lines the most? And who, who was most likely to make the other cast members laugh during a take? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> who laugh? I think we all know. Yep. Who can't? Who can't help but laugh? <laughs> I wonder. Hey, John. Wonder who it could be. Chante. Chante. Yeah. Oh man, I have the hardest time keeping it together, especially during serious scenes. It makes it so difficult. But I've been getting better. I've been getting better. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us 
fumble with our lines, though. With the lines that Kainalu gets, I'm surprised he doesn't fumble because he's got some yes. tongue hookers in there. Yes, but, you yes. know, he has this little trick that he does before. Have you not seen him walking around set talking like this? Whatever works, though. It's working. <laughs> it's working. You're killing it. Now that Dino Fury is about to air, you are now full-fledged superheroes. Who are your personal heroes in life? My mom. Yeah, I got to say my mom as well. 100% my mom. That is the easiest question I could have answered. Yeah, yeah. mom and dad for me. Yeah, Both my of them. Family. He's like my superhero. <laughs> my dad's like my hero. Mm. <laughs> Love you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is mine for sure. Yeah, he was. he raised my brother and I as a single dad. So he's, yeah, special guy. I love how family is really important to you guys. You think of you guys as family members and uh, your family is also those who help you get through your trying time. So I really respect that, all yeah. of you. Um, so without spoiling anything, uh, this is the hard part. What can we look forward to with Power Rangers Dino Fury? I think you can be prepared for your mind to be blown. Oh, <laughs> I am. They sang the theme song, Evolution Revolution. Without giving anything away, I think something that's really cool about our show that's um, in past seasons of Power Rangers, and especially in like Mighty Morphin in particular, where you can see that bond between them and how close they are, both as characters and also as actors. I think that really shines in our season. You can see how close we are uh, on screen, and it really, um, really comes through. So I think that's something special about us. I actually was lucky enough to watch the first episode uh, yesterday and it's really it's really cool so what I'm do so you happy. think i love that uh, amelia is sort of like a, a vlogger <laughs> so since i since i'm like a youtuber vlogger it's like ah she gets very it fitting. very <laughs> fitting huh so there that's it thank you so much for your time thank you so much for having us it was so nice actually meet you. Yeah, well, Chris, thank you so much for your time and putting these questions together. It was wonderful. Finally, like, see you face to face. Yes. Yeah, thanks for having us, Chris. You're a legend in the Ranger fandom and the Ranger community, so, Absolutely. you know, it, it only makes sense. Russell, we have to watch a basketball game together for sure. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's well, just... We'll probably be on opposite sides of the court, but, you know, I'll say, hey, Russell! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Next time you're in LA, when we can watch basketball, live basketball again, we'll do that for sure. For sure, for sure. Guys, have a great day. Take Bye care. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Take care. Thank you again. Thank you again.